Hey VR enthusiast, Thor here and welcome back to Work in the Verse. Today we're diving into the exciting world beyond the Meta Store on your Quest VR headset. Whether you're rocking the Quest 2 or Quest 3, we've got something for everyone. So buckle up and let's explore the myriad ways to level up your gaming and productivity. First, we'll talk about App Lab and how you can access them through your headset or how to use SideQuest to find them even easier. For another experience, you may have heard about Meta's monthly offering, MetaQuest Plus. We'll look at that quickly, but spoiler alert, there's a potentially better service to choose from. Speaking of PC VR, did you know there's three different ways you can connect your Quest headset to your PC? We'll look at AirLink, Virtual Desktop, and Steam Link. Last but not least, we'll take a look at connecting to both PlayStation and Xbox Live. I think there's something here for everyone, and as with anything, there's always different levels of effort involved. Before we jump in, quick shout out to those recommending top-notch PC equipment for the ultimate VR experience. True, a high-end setup can enhance things, but let's not overlook the potential of what you already have. Give it a shot, and if it works for you, consider it a win, and if you don't like the experience, then you have a great baseline to start from. Time's a-wasting. Let's get to why we're here, getting more out of your Quest headset. Starting off with one of the easiest ways to find more apps and games, we have App Lab, Meta's playground for experimental games and mods. If you know what you're looking for, just search in the Quest Store app. But if you don't know, then it's time to use some tools so you can find apps either from your headset, PC, or even your phone. From within your headset, let's start with the easiest approach. Open your browser and go to sidequestvr.com. Search for the title and then copy and paste into the MetaQuest store to find it. It's a bit clunky, but if you don't want to install another app, it's a good solution. Now, for those who want to step up their sideloading game, their SideQuest. It might seem more difficult, but trust me, it's worth it. Let me highlight a few must-haves and to-dos before you follow the steps in the tutorial linked below to keep it streamlined. First, you'll need to connect your Quest headset to your PC or phone. When connecting to your PC, you can use the USB-C to USB-C cable for charging or a USB-C to USB-A cable. Heads up on this cable though, it has to be rated to handle data and power. If it's just power, like many peripherals or your phone's charging cable, it won't work or you'll get intermittent drops. If your PC is close by, just use the charging cable that came with your Quest. Next, you'll need to set up your Quest in developer mode. Registering as an organization sounds a bit intimidating, but considering that you likely won't be posting content to Meta, it's not a big ask. Now you'll need to decide if you want to do side quests via your PC, phone, or your headset. I'll let you choose, but if you're looking for the fastest way from browsing and installing, go with the easy installer version. If you want to have more control over your headset, go with the advanced installer version. You'll likely need this for playing games on your console from your Quest. We'll get to that shortly. Remember, when installing apps, not all are free or created equal. Who knows though, you might find a diamond in the rough and get in before it goes mainstream in the Meta Store. Switching gears to Meta's monthly offering, MetaQuest Plus, you can pay $7.99 a month for two games. Meh, not my cup of virtual tea. So far the games haven't been of interest or I already own them. You can try it out for one month and as long as you subscribe, you can keep playing the titles you accessed. But fear not, there may be an offering more to your liking. Viveport by Vive has a much more robust offering and is geared to those who want to experience PC VR without having to buy every title. They have two tiers, by the month and an annual subscription. Be aware these are PC VR titles and not specific quest titles, so your experience will vary. Good news is that they regularly update their offerings and trust me, it's more than just one or two games. Keep an eye out for holiday deals to maximize your gaming budget. Speaking of PC VR, there are now three good ways to connect your Quest to your PC. Oculus AirLink, Virtual Desktop, and the new Steam Link. AirLink is solid, Virtual Desktop is the power user's choice, and Steam Link is the recent surprise. Each one has its own pros and cons. Try them out and then stick with the one that works best for you. My hunch is that we'll see more upcoming improvements to the Steam offering since it just came out. Ever thought of connecting your Quest to PlayStation or Xbox? Depending on your console and method, it might involve APK packages, App Lab apps, or a bit of both. 
Check out the video's link below for step-by-step -step guides. It might seem complex at first, but once you're in the groove, you'll unlock a whole new dimension to your VR experience. So there you have it, a plethora of options to expand your quest horizons. Good luck on your quest to discover new games and experiences. If you found this guide helpful, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and let me know in the comments below what tricks you've uncovered. Until next time, keep working the verse.